Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for August 21st, 2021. How you doing? You exhausted? I filmed this all ahead of time. I don't even know <laughs> what's going to be going on by the time we get here. Let's just, I'm not even going to shuffle because I've been shuffling this entire time. Let's just get a card. We're going to get two because we got this one hanging out too. Sanctuary. Oh my God, you guys. Sanctuary keeps coming out and gentleness. Can I just tell you that I don't know why this image freaks me out. This feels like a ghost bride. What is that? <laughs> you see? Jesus. Okay, <laughs> whatever. And then there, <laughs> Ooh. then there's sanctuary here as well. I feel like we're in a space of overload. Okay, we're in a space of overload. And, you know, I might be onto something with this, like, ghost thing, okay? Like, it might be ghosts of the past. Um, it might be a ghost of <sighs> pressure. Why does this have a feeling of, like, arranged marriage? You know, not every culture embraces an arranged marriage. And um, if they don't, they might see that as a really bad thing. But in a way, even if you're in a, like here in the United States, as far as I know, I mean, everybody has their belief systems, but, you know, and religions and things like that. So maybe you do have an arranged marriage of some sort. But even if it's not, quote unquote, outwardly arranged, there's still an arrangement there, isn't there? There's still an expectation. I mean, yeah, you get to choose, but do you? If you fall in love with somebody that your family doesn't approve of, they do everything they can to talk you out of it. I don't know why that came up. Oh my God. Okay. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. <laughs> what in the world are you guys telling me? The passing of traditions. Like tra old traditions are dying. And there's going to be a lot of fallout. So you're going to have to take sanctuary. What? All right. Some of y'all, if we're going to be like very surface level, very 3D about it, some of you are fully rejecting. <sighs> we're talking like serious contracts. Like marriage is a serious thing. You can't walk away from that without paperwork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like changing your name and stuff like whatever I mean I guess you can keep your name but whatever um so this is sort of a rejection of this idea of this is how we need to live and I think a bride is being with the gentleness card here uh, I think it's being represented by this because there's a lot of pressure on a bride there's a lot of pressure for it to be the most special day of her life right um but you can Put that onto anything that is a contract that binds you. Yeah, the reason like we're not we're breaking contracts. Ugh. I'm not trying to say people are getting divorced. I'm not saying that. It, it's different. It's not just about marriage. It's it's just what marriage represents. The forcefulness. Which is the opposite of gentleness, right? <laughs> um, and so that is passing away it's it's going away if you're sitting there saying what the heck are you talking about i believe in oh god if i listen to one more defensive married person if your marriage is good then never mind okay <laughs> like nobody's saying that you're bad for getting married okay but i think it's representing something it's metaphorical for some Okay, it's metaphorical. It's what do we get married to? What ideas do we get married to? What um, notions about how we're supposed to live? How do we get married to that? Just snatched at you. Did you see that? <laughs> so anyway, we're taking sanctuary from our own ridiculous belief systems, I think. Remember, you can get married to anything. You can get married to a way of showing up in the world or how you define yourself or you know what you think you have to do for a career so on and so on let's get another card because shoot I don't even know what I'm talking about look at this awakening so being gentle with yourself as these old ideas sort of pass by 
again, literally, if you want to get married, or a lot of you are engaged, you're like, what are you talking about? Like, that's creepy, ghost bride. It's not you, okay? It's fine. It's not you. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> like, what's that noise? Still on a corded mic. Let me digress for a moment. And it's dragging along. I have my prayer board right here in front of me. Sorry. Why do I still have the corded mic? Because the stupid wireless mics, you could be batch filming and they cut out. I would love for them to work better. I would buy them, but they stink. So that's why I'm doing it old fashioned style. <laughs> Sorry. So if you hear that little noise, that's what's going on. So anyway, uh, this awakening, you're awakening to a different sense of you, but that only comes from kind of backing away from what's expected. Okay. I'm telling you guys, you already know what I'm talking about, but maybe you say, no, don't I, Michelle, you make no sense. I know. Leave me alone. I don't have coffee. Send me some coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. But anyway, no, I think I think what this is, you know, it's just representing letting some of those old pains even, old ideas. This really has to do with family and the family expectations upon you. Did you grow up in a family? Let's say you're a man and you grew up in a family that um, told you that being sensitive is a bad thing and you better get out there and prove yourself. And next thing you know, you're completely denying who you are just to make it and be powerful because that's what you were taught that you had to do. It's your time now to let that go, to come back to you, to remember what it is to be sensitive and knowing that that's your superpower, actually. That's anybody's superpower. And, you know, if you're told this is who, it, you can take this so many different ways. This is who you are. You're divorcing yourself from that, okay? And then there's a, an awakening. Now, you're not going to know exactly how comfortable you are in a new identity. That's the old way of thinking. Having to have an identity, having to label yourself, having to be this and don't deviate from that for our comfort level, that has to be done at this point. We are moving into a whole different way of being, okay? Okay. Convoluted reading over. <laughs> Enjoy your day. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.